What's up, everybody? It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming. So, finally able to do it. We did a two versus two. I think we did about ten battles last night, and I, not in this first, uh, the not in this first attack here or battle, whatever you call it in Clash Royale. But I believe the next one, I actually had the the headphones on and was able to do uh, play by play while I was attacking. Which for me is unheard of because that's usually um, a bunch of mumble jumble followed by moments of silence and awkwardness. <laughs> but I think I, I think I was able to kind of carry through pretty well. I'm trying to learn how to do this because I, I want to be able to record and play at the same time instead of having to record and then voice over. And uh, if you have never done this before, because I know you know people are very critical of everyone that's on YouTube. People are critical of me, and, and me too, and I was too, uh, but it's not easy to do. Uh, it's actually really hard to play and talk at the same time, even for people that talk a lot like myself. And uh, well, you just caught a little glimpse of what you're about to see in this in this video, and that's the tornado and the fireball. That's got to be one of our biggest weapons as a team. Um, we don't go and plan these attacks. We don't, we don't plan ahead of time. We don't have... Well, I mean, we really don't even have a game plan. We just play off each other, but we've been playing a, a, with each other enough now in the game, people. Not with each other for real. Come on. Uh, we've been playing with each other in the game enough now that we kind of know how each other plays. Oh, another big card that I used, and it, and it may not seem like it, but it was a huge card, was this, go this go uh, Goblin Hut. <clears throat> the Goblin Hut plays big, I'll tell you right now. Uh, it's a great distraction card, and it's constantly pumping out the goblins. So, when they're on the way down to your to your first tower, you can put that right in the middle. And not only does it distract them and pull them off the tower, but it pulls them into the middle. Which, when whenever they get pulled into the middle, you have potentially three different guns targeting them too, from the left and the right towers, plus a center tower. So, it's a big advantage to be able to put something there in the middle to pull the troops into. I know a lot of players that are good at this game know how to do that with their troops and know how to do it with uh, all these other weapons, but um, I, I'm pretty much a, a noob that's been playing for a year. <laughs> so some of the cards that, that Wild's going to use, he the Executioner has been a long time favorite of his. Uh, now he's also got the Cannon Cart that he uses really well. He's got the Goblin Gang that he uses. He's got... Uh, the hog rider but before we get any further let's go to the live recording uh, and now bear with me there is a few instances where you're gonna get some lulls but we're gonna go right into it okay here we go first time recording live all right just drop down the golem and they immediately put in the hog rider so while it's gonna follow that up with the executioner it looks like the execution is gonna take out that hog rider pretty quick and so, oh, they have uh, they have the Inferno Tower, and they have the Furnace, which I'm glad that is not the Inferno Tower. And while I just put the Tornado, I, I Fireballed it. I'm going to try to do that as much as I can. I know he's got Tornado. He knows I have Fireball, so what, I'm going to keep on going. Oh, they have Fireball too. I think we're going to take out this right-hand tower. We do. I think they knocked the, the Hog Rider off it, but he stayed with it. So, Wild's got the hog. I'm gonna fireball it. I like doing that because if they put in a minion horde on top of them, it takes out the minion horde, so they can't kind of build up a retaliation. And I have a I have a building I can put in to pull them off of the, off these towers. I don't know how it's gonna work, but I'm hoping it works okay. It's a goblin camp. I've seen this work good before. Well, they liked it. The other team. Yeah, and see that it's it's pulling it's pumping out these goblins too. I know when it was used against me, th those goblins get one shot in before the defenses take them out. So it's a little picking away. So while it's going to send a cannon cart down the left side, they have a they have a little push going down the right side behind this uh, ice golem. Plus they're fireballing us every chance they get, and they have a fireball and a poison. But they miss the tower with that poison. That's actually pretty big. Whenever they're fireballing the, the tower, they should poison the tower too. Make sure they hit it with the poison. Yeah, we both have log. I just noticed that we both have log and we both have hog rider So that can be interesting because we're gonna put a lot of pressure on these guys with those two cards 
and look at Wild pulls him into the pulls him into the middle with a fireball, and I catched him right on the way back in. Hopefully, we get to do that a lot. That's got to be one of our best uh, combined weapons. Oh, and here I am watching. <laughs> uh, I'm trying not to do that, guys. Now they have some. They have some pretty good uh, defensive troops. That that mega minion and the uh, mini pe mini pekka, especially. You know, if it, I think it five shots a tower. So you wouldn't think of it being like that, being you know a four housing space troop, but it, it's very powerful. It, and it, four or five shots and takes a tower down. So there's the hog rider and the log combination. That's the second tower, and that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up. That's a wrap, guys. Good job, wild. Okay. They they got the drop first. I'm kind of waiting. I want to put the golem in first. I think putting the bats in first is going to be a waste. And it looks to me like they have my phone. And the thing is, I can't. Hope it wasn't important because all I could do is silence it. <laughs> I get a call every single time. That's why I don't play on my phone. Okay, so they got something coming down the right side. They have two Valkyries. Wild's going to put in the Knight. It's going to pull the Valkyries off the core. And now Golem, you know, see the Golem Gang is not the best thing for a Valkyrie because she eats those up. But put the Hog Rider in. It's going to distract her for a minute. Ah, Wild likes that. He's really big on defense. So I'm trying to not to make really stupid defensive errors or playing these cards wrong because he will tell me every time I make a mistake and that's by, you know that's by request or by uh, that's what I need anyway. I don't know if he said oops because I screwed that up as I'm saying that. I thought that was good though. Put the tower right in the middle or the, or the building right in the middle. He he tornado right on top of it. Uh well. well <laughs> And it looks like they have 1100 on that right hand tower and 500, 3200. Got it with the fireball. In comes the executioner. And this is where the executioner plays so big. It just took out every single one of those uh, skeletons and then got the goblin hut down. And there goes the balloon. The executioner is still alive. Oh, the balloon caught the building a little bit. It's not, not too bad though. And now I'm gonna try to get the log in. I, th I was a little late, but it's okay. So they're they're countering uh, they're countering the hog rider with the Valkyrie. And wow, wow, caught the balloon with that tornado. Look how far back he got that t tornado to go. It looks like they're gonna get this building anyway, though. They were already on the building when I put in uh, the goblin hut. And now they have a balloon coming down the other side. Uh, I think we stopped them good enough. Oh, sudden death. This is where it gets sketchy for us. <laughs> okay, there's a hog ride. I'm going to fireball it, log it, do whatever we can. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, look how close that was. 96 on, on the tower. Well, that's going to be game because that's a fireball hog rider. Game wild. We've been we've been doing pretty well, uh, you know. I'd like I'd like to see us get into a uh, into some kind of formal two verse two. Then I'm gonna start off with what I normally start off when I play by myself, and that's the hog ro the hog rider and a log. They ended up putting the bats in, so I, I didn't feel like the log was gonna be the best thing, but. So while it's got the Executioner in, Executioner is a great defensive card, especially if you put it in the middle instead of putting it right in front of the towers. Uh, you put it in the middle, it's going to it's gonna use that um, axe and throw it over the over across the, the front of the tower. And if they have a big group of troops like skeletons or goblins coming at it, 
it takes them all out in that it may not take them all out in the first swing or the front part but it takes them all out in the back part and again this is gonna you know our success is gonna rely a lot on our timing and it looks like they have the three musketeers which the three musketeers is not nearly as useful in a two verse two I found that out the hard way <laughs> because if either player on the other side has a has a, 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 a large lightning or if they have the fireball or if they have the, the poison you can use any of those spells on the on the three musketeers and then they're really weak and then you can put something like the goblin gang or skeleton army on them and then they're gone starting to build up some pressure on the right side it looks like they have two elixir pumps going so they're going to try to keep on playing that three musketeer card and so we have to be careful about losing a tower because if we lose a tower then they can drop the execution the three musketeer card on our side of the river and that's when you, that can be dangerous because if we don't have a counter for it right away that's when they're unloading three shots at a time on the center tower that's how you can lose real fast but i put the put the goblin hut directly in the, in the path and took out the right hand tower with the fireball now we've got the log the goblin goblin gang going in and it looks like they have the prince dark prince which i've never been good at the dark prince i know he's effective for a lot of people they were, he was in the meta for a minute okay got, got caught up in the game for a second i'm over here clicking away i don't know if you can see my mouse but Looks like we're gonna get this because they 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 have too much going. We have too much going for us. We got that one, and they dropped <laughs> they dropped down the three musketeers at the last second, and I I got them with the mega mega knight. Wild got them with the fireball. They're crying about it. Okay, so it looks like they got Tesla right in the middle. It would be nice to get it out of play as soon as possible because that would pull the troops in the middle. But it actually, it's over too far. It did not pull the hog rider in. And okay, they have ho they have Valkyrie and Bowler going down at the same time. Bowlers are actually hard troops sometimes because that Bowler has a knockback ability. So if you are if if your troops aren't heavy enough, it will knock them back. And so now we have Mega Knight going towards Tesla Tower. They have minions, which is not the Mega Knight's friend. <laughs> Mains can take out a Mega Knight pretty fast. And then they put in the Witch. And, you know, the Night Witch is in the meta right now. The Witch, I, I guess, is not. But, but, the, the Witch versus the Night Witch head-to-head, -head, the Witch is going to win that almost every time. Uh, her, I don't know if her attack's different than the Night Witch as far as her personal attack. But I know that she does splash damage on her personal attack. And it really, it really smashes all these big, you know, the, the one housing space big, uh, big cards like the goblin gang or like the skeleton army uh, whereas the night witch seems like she struggles more with that but you put the night witch behind a golem and you pretty much have an automatic tower unless they really know how to defend it and if they have infernal towers or have, they have somewhere to pull you off the tower so they're coming down the left hand lane with the bowler again and it, it looks like we don't really have to do anything with it because i think these the, i think that between the goblin hut and the left tower it took them out so now oh both sides have golem we have a golem coming up the left side they have golem coming down the down the left side they pull golem into the middle and the execution is just doesn't not going to do enough damage to, to wipe out that golem all the way but we did split it and what do we have down there he's got the execution on it still and you can see all those golems fly back because that it does do death damage when once it goes down the golem, golem does and it looks like we got 500 400 we're, we, we're, we're doing really well on both sides took out the left tower right towers at 150 so that's two logs away one fireball away on center tower they have a princess you don't know how bad I want to jump on her head <laughs> And they put Gollum in, but you know, that's just too late for that. 
because they're, they're already down a tower. They put Gollum in with 10 seconds left. He's not going to make it to the tower in 10 seconds. So, <laughs> and then <laughs> Wild pulls him off the tower with the tornado. He has an excellent handle on this tornado. Okay, I'm back after the fact on the replay. The last, the last attack that we're about to watch, the audio in it was not very good. So I just decided to end the audio sec segment from the actual attacks. So now, looks like they started off with Gollum coming down the left side. And I put the Goblin Hut in. We're going to fireball. See, now they're coming in with, right with the meta attack. They have the... They have Gollum and they have the Night Witch following. Now there is a way to defend against this. The, what you'll do is you'll wait until the Night Witch crosses over the bridge and then you base your attack on her because once she's eliminated then you can take out the Gollum a lot faster. But the Gollum is actually really struggling to get through that the, the Gollum and he didn't get it. The Gollum camp stays up. Goblin camp. Jesus how many times am I going to say that? Looks like we did some good damage on the right side. Wild sent the hog rider up the right side and he's gonna get a couple more hits. Uh, got the Mega Minion and uh, and some bats took him out. And they're using the they're using the miner to tank. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not, but the the, the miner is actually a great distraction troop. Right before your guys uh, approach the tower and right before they get engaged to the tower, you put the miner in on the back side of the tower. So if they're gonna defend the tower from behind it, they're gonna be attracted to the miner. And, if, and your troops out in front won't have to worry about the counterattack. So bring a peck it down and look at that! Look at that power of the cannon cart. I mean, really took off Pekka before it made it to the tower. And at this point, right now we have six, 60 seconds left. We got one tower lead. They really haven't done much damage to either one of our towers. And we still have this constant flow of goblins coming out. And look at this, they have the same thing. I missed that until just now. So we got, so they have the same thing. And they got the golem coming down from the right hand side. Uh, the, uh, the golem's going to push through the executioner. And it looks like right behind it. What are they? I, saw, I can't see what's behind it because there's so many troops. They have so many troops that I can't see how many, how many they are and what they are. <laughs> But stopped at the at the front door, and we're on the main tower. They've been using that poison spell really well against us. They managed to cut back our attacks quite a bit by placing that poison spell in front. So now we're gonna go on some offense on the left side with the hog rider. On the right side, we got the executioner. Five seconds left. This was the last replay in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoy playing this game. I enjoy making the video. So th there will be a lot more to come. So tell everyone you know to come see me, Easy, Easy Street Gaming, Clash of Clans, Clash Royale. You know, I wish, uh, I, I hope everyone has as much fun listening to my obnoxious self as I do making them. It's one of the highlights of my day, making the Clash videos. So till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody. Oh, one more thing. Subscribe to the channel. Don't make me find you and make you. <laughs> Yeah.